Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions with detailed and informative answers for SAP MM and user interviews. 1. What is SAP MM and how do you interact with it as an end user? Answer. SAP MM Materials Management is a module in SAP that deals with procurement, inventory management, and material planning. As an end user, I interact with SAP MM to create purchase requisitions, process purchase orders, perform goods receipts, and handle invoice verification. 2. Explain the procure to pay P2P process in SAP MM from an end user perspective. Answer. The procure to pay process involves creating a purchase requisition PR, converting it into a purchase order PO, receiving goods through a goods receipt GR, and verifying invoices. As an end user, I initiate these processes and ensure accurate and timely transactions. 3. How do you create a purchase requisition PR in SAP? MM? Answer. To create a PR, I use transaction code. Me 51N. I enter the required details such as material, quantity, and delivery date, and submit the PR for approval. 4. What information is essential when creating a purchase order PO in SAP? MM? Answer. When creating a PO using transaction code, Me 21N, I provide details like vendor, material, quantity, price, and delivery terms. It's crucial to ensure accuracy and compliance with procurement policies. 5. How can you check the status of a purchase order PO in SAP? MM? Answer. I use transaction code, ME23N, to view the details and status of a PO. This allows me to track whether the PO has been approved, delivered, or if there are any issues. 6. Explain the goods receipt GR process in SAP M. Answer. The GR process involves confirming the receipt of goods. I use transaction code, MIGO, enter the PO number, and provide information about the quantity and quality of the received goods. 7. What is invoice verification, and how do you perform it in SAP? MM? Answer. Invoice verification ensures that the vendor invoice matches the PO and goods receipt. I use transaction code MIRO to enter the invoice details and match them against the corresponding PO and GER. 8. How can you handle discrepancies between the purchase order, goods receipt, and vendor invoice? Answer. If there are discrepancies, I communicate with relevant departments and stakeholders to resolve issues promptly. This may involve adjustments in quantity, price, or coordination with the vendor. 9. What is a material master record, and how is it used in SAP? MM? Answer. The material master record contains information about materials, such as descriptions, stock levels, and purchasing details. It serves as a central source of information for materials used in procurement processes. 10. How do you create a vendor master record in SAP? MM? Answer. I use transaction code XK01 to create a vendor master record. I enter details like vendor name, address, payment terms, and communication information. 11. Explain the concept of stock types in SAP M. Answer. Stock types in SAP MM categorize materials based on their purpose and usage, such as unrestricted stock, quality inspection stock, and block stock. Each type reflects the material's current status within the inventory. 12. What is the purpose of a reservation in SAP? MM. And how can you create one? Answer. A reservation is used to set aside stock for a specific purpose, ensuring its availability. I create a reservation using transaction code M21, specifying details like material, quantity, and storage location. 13. How can you perform a stock transfer between two storage locations in SAP? MM? Answer. I use transaction code M1B to perform a stock transfer. I enter the material, quantity, source, and destination storage locations, ensuring accurate documentation of the transfer. 14. Explain the concept of material valuation in SAP M. Answer. 
Material valuation in SAP MM determines the value of materials for accounting purposes. It considers factors like the price, quantity, and currency exchange rates. 15. What is the purpose of the SAP MM information system? Answer. The information system in SAP MM provides various reports and analytics related to procurement, inventory, and material management. It helps in monitoring and analyzing data for better decision making. 16. How can you track the movement of materials using SAP MM documents? Answer. I use the Document Overview Transaction MO3 to track material documents such as POs, GRs, and invoices. It provides a comprehensive view of the materials transaction history. 17. Explain the concept of batch management in SAP M. Answer. Batch management in SAP MM allows for the management and tracking of materials with specific batch characteristics. It is crucial in industries where traceability is essential, such as pharmaceuticals. 18. What is the purpose of a physical inventory in SAP MM, and how is it conducted? Answer. Physical inventory is conducted to reconcile the actual stock with the system stock. I use transaction code MEO4 to enter physical count results and update the system accordingly. 19. How can you perform a vendor evaluation in SAP MM? Answer. Vendor evaluation involves assessing a vendor's performance. I use transaction code ME61 to maintain the vendor evaluation criteria and ME63 to evaluate vendor performance. 20. Explain the concept of a source list in SAP M. Answer. A source list is a list of approved vendors for a material. It ensures that materials are procured from authorized sources, promoting consistency and compliance. 21. What is the purpose of the SAP MM release strategy in purchase orders? Answer. The release strategy ensures that specific conditions are met before a purchase order is approved. It involves defining rules based on parameters like value or document type. 22. How can you handle a stock transport order in SAP? MM? Answer. I use transaction code ME21N to create a stock transport order. It involves specifying the shipping and receiving plants, material, and quantity for the inter-plant transfer. 23. Explain the concept of consignment stock in SAP M. Answer. Consignment stock allows materials to be stored at the customer's location until they are used. Ownership is transferred only when the material is consumed or withdrawn. 24. How do you perform a return to vendor in SAP? MM? Answer. I use transaction code EMBRIL to create a return to vendor document. It involves entering details like the material, quantity, and reason for return. 25. What is the significance of the material document number in SAP MM? Answer. The material document number uniquely identifies each transaction in SAP M. It is used to trace and retrieve detailed information about material movements. 26. How can you set up a source determination in SAP MM? Answer. Source determination involves defining the criteria for selecting the source of supply. I use transaction code ME49 to set up and maintain source lists. 27. Explain the purpose of the SAP MM document type in procurement. Answer. The document type in SAP MM determines the characteristics of a document, such as whether it's a purchase requisition, purchase order, or goods receipt. It influences the document's processing and characteristics. 28. How do you handle a subcontracting process in SAP MM? Answer. In a subcontracting process, I create a purchase order for the subcontracting vendor using transaction code ME21N. Upon receiving the finished goods, I perform a goods receipt to update the stock. 29. What is the significance of the GER or I clearing account in SAP MM? Answer. The goods receipt or invoice receipt GRI clearing account is used to temporarily record the difference between goods receipt and invoice receipt. It ensures accurate accounting when reconciling the two. 
30. How can you generate and analyze SAP MM reports for better decision making? Answer. I use various SAP MM reports like Me to End Purchase Orders by Vendor, M51 Material Document List, and M5B Stock on Posting Date to generate and analyze data. These reports aid in monitoring procurement, inventory, and material movements. These questions and answers cover various aspects of SAP MM from an end-user perspective. Providing a comprehensive understanding for interview preparation. Interviewers may tailor questions based on specific project requirements or the candidate's experience level. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Ask interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.